Good afternoon, our viewers, and uh, my name is Margaret Mongi, and I'm your host uh, for our show, Amazing Travel and Discovery TV channel. I, uh, we have just come from Misike, where we were going to do snorkeling and play with the fish, feed them, and uh, we were with the one of the tour guides uh, who, whom we were together in our boat, which is known as Kauta. Uh, or good deeds, uh, and I'm going to quickly interview uh, Mohammed on the nature of the work and what he does. Hello, Mohammed. Good morning. Uh, morning to you, madam. Yeah, what are your name? My name is Mohammed. Okay, pleasure meeting you, Mohammed. Yeah. I remember when you started the journey, you you briefed us on what or what to expect, how long the journey was to be. And what uh, and uh, what we are to expect before uh, going to Asini Island? Kindly, would you take us through what you shared with us this morning before we started the journey? Uh, right. So, first of all, I want to thank you for the pleasure. You're welcome. Yeah. And then this is known as a day trip eh? <laughs> to visit and go to Marine Park. Are we right? Yes. So. It's almost cover almost uh, one hour thirty minutes to, to the point for the from point. where from where uh, Shimoni to the Guilfield point it's almost one hour thirty minutes eh? yeah yeah perhaps so, I can just tell you before Muhammad continues we came from different destinations some from hotels around the Diani area like Bao Bao Papillon and others as from uh, even guest house which are there and we had planned to to visit uh, this Isike Marine Park wa and Wasini Island, among others, uh, short uh, expeditions which we have for today, and that uh, what is go he will be taking us through to tell us what we have just encountered, what we have done, and where we are headed from here. Yeah, so, yeah. welcome aboard, Mohammed. Yeah, on Dolphin Sporting, we are already are we right. Yes. So after Dolphin Sporting, we are going to the Marine Park for, for our snorkeling. Eh? On our snorkeling, we have almost uh, 45 minutes. You can uh, briefly tell our viewers what snorkeling is all oh. about. Yeah. Thank on, you. On the snorkeling, we will see uh, good fishes, type of fishes, a good coral reef, and so on, eh? according to uh, life, uh, life marine. Are we right? So after snorkeling, we are going back to, to Asini for, for our lunch, I mean for our nyam nyam, are you right? Yes. Uh, nyam nyam is lunch, you mean yeah. lunch, you are yeah. going to have our lunch there. And yeah. I understand it's uh, a la carte buffet. No, just this. Uh, uh, yeah, it will, uh, we are going to have our lunch there and it will be inclusive of our seafood. Yeah, among others, like uh, pawns. Um, uh, no. For the inclusive food, we have chapati, we have rice, and we have cassava. And for the extra food, we have lobster, we have calamari, prawns, and octopus. It's uh, 1,000 kina shillings for the extra food. And then after our lunch, we have almost uh, 15 minutes to 20 for the village walk. And then after village walk, uh, we have a live band on the boat. Uh, it's known as a uh, Hakuna Matata songs and Malaika song for the sake of lovers and so on, are we right? After have, uh, a live band on the boat, you have uh, our destination at the trading jet there. Are we right? Yeah, just that. It's an end of our daily trip. That. Okay. And um, what are some of the unique features we are expected to see at Wasini Island? At uh, Wasini Island, I think it's just a, a normal village, eh? just a normal village, I would say. But uh, the important thing that I want to talk to you is uh, just uh, there's a, a mangrove forest, you know? There's a, a huge uh, a mangrove forest there. Covering like how many kilometers? Almost, Roughly. Almost, almost, almost uh, five uh, to six to seven to eight kilometers of the mango forest. Eh? Is it a protected area? Yeah, somehow, because there's a, a it's known as what? A forest officer. Oh. So it was protected 
used by the government okay. because it's a forest. Mango forest is a forest. Yeah. And uh, I understand as uh, uh, soon as we have we have had our lunch, we are going to walk to the caves. Do you can do you have uh, any important uh, history or maybe perhaps uh, uh, something which is unique about these caves, uh, caves which are our viewers, our travelers? Uh, might want to know so that when they will be planning to come here, they, will be, they won't miss on that. Yeah, on the cave, what I want to talk to is this. Huh? On the cave, it's almost, it's a measure, a length, uh, it's a measure, on deepness, it's a measure, uh, five kilometers inland, inland, I mean, huh? Seven, uh, five kilometers inland, and then there's uh, a watch. On the cave, there's a... Uh, oh, Kukona zile chain, ambako maslave alikuwa anatumia. I understand this is a voiceover and what he's trying to tell us, he's saying uh, there is a cave, it's deep, uh, a ca there are deep caves and inside, inside the caves we are expected to see the chains which could chain the, those slaves when they were captured and, and brought to that place before they could uh, to be transported to Europe and other countries. So that we are expecting to, to see that. And you, you remember this is a sad history of where we are coming from. Uh, wise people tell us not to forget our, our history, where we are coming from and what uh, we, we, we draw a lot of lessons from this. And we know we learned about slave trade in Africa and Kenya, or oh, we were not left behind because we we are aware we know about the Mombasa, the 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 Fort Jesus, where a lot of them were kept by those Portuguese, and also by the Muslims, the Mazrui Muslims, and uh, this the, the caves at Wasini has the, bear this uh, sad history of the past, because this is where after they have been transported from those areas uh, uh, far areas maybe Tanzania or Kenya, they were finally brought there where they were kept in those caves. I wonder whether they used to be fed or they were given the basic needs which they needed See, uh, a few weeks or a few months before they could be transported via, via the water to Europe and other countries. So we are headed there and we are going to update you. When we find the guides there, they are going to take us to, back to the history to our past and we are going to learn things uh, of what happened, the, the sad memories of what, what happened to our great, great, great grandparents. God bless you. Do have a, a lovely afternoon and thanks for watching. Bye-bye.